So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَهُمَا فَإِنْ بَغَتْ إِحْدَاهُمَا Sometimes you will go. And you will know uh, in Surah al uh, one of the I mean, uh, fawaid also that we have to take note here. In Surah al uh, nisa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَا خَيْرَ فِي كَثِيرٍ مِّن نَجْوَاهُمْ إِلَّا مَنْ أَمَارَ بِصَدَقَةٍ أَوْ مَعْرُوفٍ أَوْ إِسْلَحٍ مِّنَ النَّاسِ There is no good in most of the secret, in most of the secret discussion. When someone is discussing with another person, in most of the time there is no good. That's why they make it secret. Yeah. I'm not saying to have doubt whenever you see someone having secrets, you say, no, he's doing something bad. No, no, it's not true. But the last part I said, in most of the time, people, they just go, they stay in secret. Uh, if they're not careful, they're not, they going to talk about something that they shouldn't talk about talking about others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hate, which we are going to talk about it also, inshallah. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, there is no good in most of those conversations, illa man amara bi sarakatin, except someone who is going to command his brother to give charity. So that means, I, I realize that brother Muhammad is poor, he's in need of money. Then I know that yes, the Muslim has the money to give him. I go out, I don't want to talk in, in front of others, because it will be embarrassing to the one who is in need. Then I ask uh, Brother Masri or anyone, please, I need to see you. Then we go separately, we talk about his affairs, how to solve uh, the problem, and how to help him to bring, uh, help his, uh, I mean, to support his own family. This one, no problem. Because it is, it is based on pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and helping your Muslim brother. No problem, we can have secrets in this. And it is better also to make it in this way. Because if you do it in front of others, that is called embarrassing. And the guy, sometimes he will refuse. Yeah. Just like the way after you give the money to him, you cannot come and talk to others. Allah SWT said, When you give charity to someone, don't destroy the charity with man and other. Al man means, I give him something, and then when he comes to the people, then I will look at him, I say, ah, people, you have to know for your information, I'm the one who gave this. In front of others, and the guy was there. Or I remind, I remind him about taking care of the thing in front of others. This is what is called man. Allah SWT said, don't do it. Don't show them that I'm the one who's doing this and that. Be like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He gave Zaid ibn Haritha everything he wants. But when the time comes that Zaid has to make a choice, whether to stay with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or to go with his father. What did he choose? He chose the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How? And look at the way the Prophet was dealing with Isha. I believe 100% without doubt, if it is one of us, you're going to remind Zaid about all of the, those things you gave him from the beginning. You remember you're a child, I, you were grown in my house, I gave you this, I gave you that, even yesterday I was giving you this and that. So let's see, are you going to choose me or will you choose someone else? But the Prophet wasn't like this. He called Zaid bin Haritha. He said, Zaid, do you know this person? He said, yes. Who is this? He said, this is my father. How about the other one? He said, my uncle. Oh, you know them properly. So this is what they want. They want you to go to them. They want to buy you from me. And I told them, I don't mind them taking you free of charge. But you are matured enough to make a choice which one you choose. He said, this is your father and this is your uncle. And I am the one that you already know. No comments, no anything. I am the person that you already know. He look at him, he smiles, he said, Prophet, I prefer to stay with you as a slave instead of going to my parent as a free person. And he chose the Prophet Sassan because of this. So that's it. Whenever you give someone something, it goes out of your hand. Don't you ever show him anything. Don't talk about it. Don't open the case at all. Don't let him open the case. Don't let him thank you in public, even in secret. Be like the one that last Mahata said. Learn read the minkum jazaan wala shukura. We don't need reward and we don't need thanks from you. Inna nakhafu mir Rabbina yawman abusan qamtarira. We are only giving you this charity to try uh, in order to try, uh, I mean, trying to save ourselves from the tragedy of the hereafter. One of the scholars said, when he was giving comment on the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that says, people they will come back to Allah SWT on the last day with hasanat, amthal al-jibal, just like mountains. And they will bring hasanat, good deeds like mountains. 
They will bring them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take them to hell. Someone was questioning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said yes because their attitude is when they are in public they show righteousness. But when they are in their own private privacy they will show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a different face. وَلَكِنَّهُمْ إِذَا انْتَحَكُوا بِمَحَارِمِ اللَّهِ إِذَا خَلَوْا بِمَحَارِمِ اللَّهِ انْتَحَكُوهَا He said there are the people whenever they are in secret, in a place where, whereby no one can see them, they will do everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want. So that's why the scholars, they said you have to be very, 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 very careful of sins that you do, which no one sees you except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of them said, because of this verse, you have to make sure that you have something that you do between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whereby no one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a symbol of a true believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine a person was fasting for 40 years. Allah. Four zero years. His wife did not know that he is fasting. Not even once. What kind of secret is this? These days, if I fast, I will call Brother Yusuf. I'm fasting, Brother Muhammad. I'm fasting, inshallah, so I will not go. If I'm going to Hajj, all of the dunya is going to know that I'm going to Hajj. I'm going to eat a calf. Okay, for your information, next week I will be in the masjid doing eat a calf. So please don't call, do this and that. No, what is this? What is this? And some of us will take friends, we go and make eat a calf with them, and then it will be something else. So the point is, you must make sure that you have something between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one knows except Him. You will, you will never know how excellent is this attitude I and mean, sincerity, having things between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till you go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The day you need privacy, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Yawma tubula sarair. He said, on that day, all of the secrets, they are going to be revealed. I do many things you don't know. You do many things no one knows. No one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the last day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is the day that all of the secrets, they are going to be exposed. So this is the day you need someone to conceal your affairs. So there are many ways of having this. One of them is to have between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, try as much as you can. When you do things, don't let anyone know. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, one of the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to put them under the shade of his throne, and Arsh, on the last day, he said, وَرَجُلٌ تَصَدَّقَ بِصَدَقَةٍ فَأَخْفَاهَا حَتَّى لَا تَعْلَمُ الشِّمَالُهُ مَا أَنْفَقَةِ مِنُهُ Allah Akbar. He said, and a person, a young man that gives charity, and he make it very secret. He hid the charity. No one knows. He said, in such a way, it was so close, covered, even the left hand did not know what was the right hand doing. Nowadays, we will bring what? Very big check and the cameras and everything so everyone can take pictures. MashaAllah. Zain al-Abideen, he used to give charity to others. And none of them knows the one that, who is giving them the charity. The source of charity is unknown. You will be surprised. How come for so many years they don't know who is giving them the charity? And he never, to my knowledge, he never asked someone to go and represent him. He did it by himself. And imagine, no one knows. How was he doing it? They said he used to go out of the house very early for Fajr time. Not like us, we wake up after sun, sunrise. He used to wake up very early in the night and go to the house of the poor people. He knows them. So he will put money in their shoes. MashaAllah. The guy just come awake, away and um, uh, wakes up to pray Fajr come out to the masjid, he will try to wear his shoes, the, 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 the feet would never go in. And then look, oh, mashallah, money. Someone brought it for him. And this is not, I mean, something that comes by itself. When you see something inside your shoes, that means someone put it. You don't need to ask, just put it in your pocket and talk to Allah. Make use of it. When did they know that Ali Zain al Abidin was the one who was giving them the charity? When he died. The charity completely stopped and they say, oh, that's mean he's the one who is giving us. These are the people who likes nothing but the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't want someone to praise them. And this is how we do. Because if I praise you, you praise me, what should I benefit? What am I going to benefit from your praise? Nothing. 
But if Allah Smarter praise me, if Allah Smarter praise you, yes, here lies the benefit. So we should seek this always. Whenever we do things, we should make them in secret. Make sure that your affairs are all between you and Allah SWT. So the point is, you can lie to solve a problem between two Muslims fighting each other. 